Hey cuties, it's me Serena. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, so I'm editing this video right now and just watch this fucking clip that I'm about to show you. There's like this little segment where I was like trying to explain like like my outfit that I did and then I literally like mid speaking got so annoyed with my fucking voice. Um, just, just watch it. It's funny. <laughs> so cute um and i've i've tried a shut up this video is gonna be dolls and items that i have collected as of or over the weekend um but it's mostly gonna be for my friend athena's gift that she sent me i'm very drained and exhausted right now um so this video might be a bit all over the place but I really wanted to film it for my friend Athena because I love her and she sent me a package of some goodies and things. So I'm going to open all of them. School girl and girls. School girl and girls. So the first thing we're going to open is this, which I ordered off of Poshmark. And I have been waiting for this for a really, really long time. Like a good like two or three weeks now. <gasps> oh my god, yes. So I got my first like, um, this is kind of the first like genuine like purse I've ever had. Um, I usually just wear like some sort of like bag or like cross the body like satchel type of bag. Um, but this is my first one. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. <gasps> oh my god, it's really beautiful. Look at these little like, these little like grape like balls. Oh, oh my god, they're so gummy. Well, kind of gummy. Okay, so this is my first Juicy Couture purse. What? This is literally like my favorite thing I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my god, so it has like the terry cloth like fabric and it has like this beautiful little heart and it has like the I love the the purses that have like the little charms and it also even has the bow too and if you can see right there it says Juicy Couture and um obviously if you don't know what Juicy Couture is it's like um it was like the the early 2000s like you know girly like brand um, of clothing, you know. I know all of you know what a Juicy Guitar tracksuit is, right? Right? You do know what that is. Right? Right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not even like with this outfit, like, oh, look, that was really so fucking pretty. I'm obsessed with it. It's really cute. I love it. <laughs> um, my favorite color combination is pink and green because those are like my two favorite colors. I love green. I love green very much. So yeah, my first Juicy Couture purse. Yay. Wow. I'm so excited. I really like it. So now this is the second thing. Wearing these. It's a pair of shoes. What does it say? It says Ellie on it, which is like my dog's name. Hi, Ellie. Um, so, wow. Oh, it's so bright. Okay, oh my god. So, these boots, I've been looking for a pair of boots like this for literally like my entire life. Oh my god, bitch. So, when I was little, I used to play this game called Our World. And it was like this sort of like online. I didn't really have very many friends when I was like, um, you know, ages like nine, I don't know, like seven, eight, nine through like, like 14. I just was kind of like misunderstood and like bullied and stuff. So I spent a lot of time on those like on online and I spent a lot of time on those like online virtual worlds where you could like dress up all the characters and stuff. And I loved like Zwinky, Our World, I Am View, um, literally like you name it, I probably played it. And there was these boots that you could buy on 
our world and they were called the monster fur boots and they if you can picture um here i'll just put a picture if you can picture first edition abby abominable from monster high when she came out because i was obsessed with monster high when that came out in like 2011 and i saw abby abominable i was like oh my fucking god because she had the monster fur boots like they were just identical and i've always wanted a pair for myself and I finally found like, oh my God, like the perfect. <gasps> oh, <laughs> um, wow, these are so beautiful. Look, it's a monster fur boot, just like um, Abby Abominable or On Our World. Look at how cute. I just love pink. I think it's such a like sweet, like just happy sort of color. Um, I think it's really beautiful and interesting. I've been, I've been doing this thing lately. It's like a form of healing, like, you know, healing ourselves from like trauma and stuff. Oh my God, do you guys want to know what I want so bad? Is the Mason Margiela Tabby Boots. See what this is. What the fuck? <laughs> the bucky. <laughs> um, oh, I was talking about tapping though. Basically, there are these energetic meridians within our bodies, um, and a meridian is basically like a point of energy, a point of your physical body where energy flows in and outward, um, which is also like you know emotions and energy we pick up from others throughout our lives comes in um, that we attract and stuff so basically if you tap on these points so there's one here 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 um, what you do is tap on them and that sort of like stimulates the the point and it makes it causes things to like exit and release from you so basically what you do is if you tap on these points and you start tapping on a certain thing that made you feel some sort of like um, like emotion that you want to release from yourself you tap on it and it does so and sometimes it can get really intense and it's a really good way to release emotion and let go of old thinking patterns and you know, really dig up the roots of like your trauma and the things that kind of, you know, dictate your life negatively day to day. Um, and it's a good way to really dig out those roots and build like a new foundation for yourself, which is what I'm trying to do because I want to, you know, grow as a person. You know, I haven't really been feeling like myself lately. I do feel really comfortable and cute um, expressing myself like more femininely like this. Um, I think normally I don't really feel confident enough to wear like, you know, really cute, like very feminine stuff like Juicy Couture or like a mini skirt. Um, I mean, it has to do with like my body, but also it has to do with like just not feeling like I could be like one of those girls, if that makes sense. Which I know I could, but you know, that like the that right there is something that I could go like tap on and try to release from myself. And it's really interesting because you really start to see how things start to shift in your life after you release a lot of stuff. Um, oh, these are like a bunch of like, like little accessories I bought. Oh my god, wait, are those her fucking legs? Um, I'm making this like ballerina brat doll, and I really needed some like arm warmers. Oh wait, these I think are for legs. 
bought this little bag of like accessories because that came in it. But it also comes with like a little like um, headset which I like to add to like my dolls and stuff. And it came with like a little like a little like pearl necklace for like a doll which is also kind of hard to find. Yay, love, love, yay. I probably don't need that. Oh yeah, this is um, a Monster High doll that I bought um, to repaint because, um, ooh, I love this doll. This doll is like so nostalgic to me. Um, wow, she smells good. She smells like that friend's house that you had when you were younger that you would go over to and they would always have like candles lit and like their living room would always be like really clean and their like table would always be really clean and the house just always had that like laundry candle smell and for some reason it just felt like clean and open and like comfortable in the house and they probably had like a really nice parents. <laughs> That's what it smells like. I like that. Um, I, I've been doing this project. Oh, I've been meaning to make this video. Maybe I'll make it tonight, actually. Um, showing all of you my collection of the original first edition Monster High dolls that I completely customized. And I have um, Spectra and Abby already. Um, but they're from my childhood and... They are my most special Monster High dolls. They were like the only ones that I kept after I re after I sold my like entire collection. Um, and for some reason, I just don't really want to like mess with them. I kind of want to keep them how they are because they just mean a lot to me. Um, so I was able to find this one used for like a really good price. I think it was, I think she was like eight dollars for some reason. Somebody was just selling it on Mercari. For like eight dollars so i was like wow like perfect you know so this one is gonna be the spectra that i repaint and um add to my repainted collection yay and she has like a really like perfect screen too so before we get to athena's present i'm sorry i hope you're still watching athena um before we get to athena's present i want to show you a few more things that i've gotten recently um because I finally like washed all of these things and like really fixed them up um because they were like really disgusting before their hair was really bad um I'm, I'm probably gonna resell like most of this stuff that I'm showing you right now but look um I fixed up these two like little pinky cooper dolls um I got these at once upon a child like over the summer and I never really like I was meaning to fix them and literally look how fucking beautiful this one's hair turned out. She has like the most perfect little like ringlets and look she literally is like like a little like puppy girl. She has like a really cute little outfit. I turned her stupid leggings into a mini skirt and some like leg warmers. Um, I actually just saw this at a flea market um, that I went to today. And they had the original shoes, so I just like took them from the doll. So now I have the original shoes for my Peaky Cooper doll. Um, this other one. Her hair turned out really nice too. Hmm. She's like you. These have like blushed, um, blushing on their knees and everything, which I think is really um, interesting because most like Playline dolls don't really have that like extra sort of detail, if you know what I mean. Um, this is a Barbie that I've always really had my eye on for a long time. She's like a, a really beautiful, like, God, this lighting is like really crazy. Um, she's like a really pretty, like, brunette Barbie. Like, this, this isn't like Teresa, like, this is like Barbie still, but she just has brown hair. And I really love this brown color, and she actually didn't come with shoes for some reason, even though she was in the box. But she has like these really cute little, like... Um, sort of like hair pieces <laughs> I really like her I think she's really sweet and her eyes are really interesting her eyes are like brown and purple which is like the two best eye colors ever um have you guys ever seen that old series called trolls with a Z I feel like if you are a doll collector you've 
probably like at least heard of it before. But I've always, I used to have a lot of these Trolls dolls when I was little. They are really like expensive nowadays and kind of hard to find like for a good price. So I found these on AliExpress actually. And there was like a big lot and you were able to get all of the characters in their little like pajama outfits for like, I think it was like $25. And originally I kind of just impulsively bought them because like I tend to do that a lot because I've never really had a chance to see any of these. And even if I was just going to resell them anyway, like it's, it's cool to just, sometimes I think it's cool to buy something even if you're going to end up reselling it just to like see what it's like if you've never seen it before. So this is Topaz. She's really cute. Um, and obviously they have like that crazy like troll hair. They have really big little toes. Um, and they have like little belly button gems. Um, she's really cute. Topaz um, is my favorite of the trolls. Here's Onyx, everybody's favorite. For some reason, her hair turned out kind of crazy. Um, when I got them, their hair literally was like ripping like off of their scalp, especially when I was washing it. It was so disgusting. It literally looked like their wigs were like, their scalps were like ripping off of their like head. So she has this really cute like, kind of like Japanese Asian like silk pajama style pajamas. Very cute. Weep. Her. This one is Ruby, who has always been my least favorite. But for some reason, this doll in particular is just really cute. Like, her hair just turned out really nice. Um, yeah, I don't Something about her is really charming and sweet. I think I really like it. This is Amethyst. This is like the main girl. She has really nice hair. Her scalp was really bad. Her scalp was like literally just like ripping off of her fucking head. Um, her little outfit's really cute. She has her little belly button gem. I super glued their scalps back on their heads. Um, this is Sapphire. I feel like this one's probably the cutest. And I actually made it to where her hair dried more down like this because that's how it's supposed to be in the animated series. Um, but this is Sapphire. And, hold on, she has a really cute little face with like her little freckles um, and like little peach face. I like this one a lot. Um, she's really cute. I'm probably going to sell them because I need to move past this era of my life where I'm trying to fill my void by purchasing dolls and trying to relive my childhood that I got like stunted from because of my dad um, so now let's move on to Athena's gift um, so my beautiful friend Athena I have another video of me opening a present from her for my birthday earlier this year and look she sent me another one just like out of the blue and she even used green and pink marker <laughs> she knows me so um, and she used these really pretty Barbie stickers, which is really nice. Oh my god, what is this? So she just sent, I think she sent some dolls, some goodies. So I'm just going to start pulling things out. Oh my god. No way. Look, um, you get like a really mini version of this book with um, some of the Sleeping Beauty dolls from the 90s. Look, she found the big version. Oh my God, and I just absolutely love the artwork in these. Oh my God, yes. Literally, this picture, like she looks so beautiful. Ooh, look how pretty Maleficent looks. She literally is like. <laughs> oh my God, like there's a big version of it. Oh. Athena, this is so kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, look how sweet she looks right there. She's like, love. <laughs> so next she gave me this Princess and the Pauper book as well. Which I've always loved um, that sort of like airbrushed like doll artwork. Wait, ah, uh, to my beautiful Barbie sister. 
love eternally athena oh my god and it says this golden book belongs to serena <gasps> stop <laughs> that is so sweet oh my god yes and it's one of the like the one of the doll the doll illustration bitch oh she looks fucking crazy right there huh. um oh my god look at this weird picture of annalise why does she why does she Ooh, like that. Um, Coming to DVD September 28th, 2004. I wish tomorrow was just September 28th, 2004. She sent me some Monster High stands, which is perfect because I literally have one of the like rods and I don't have the base or the thing. Thank you. Um, and she sent me that like really cute early 2000s like stiletto like stripper pump shoe. There's some little like clothing pieces in there. Thank you, Athena. Uh, let's see what's in here. <gasps> yes, thank you. Let's see, so there are some dolls in here. I think this is Tecna. I remember I used to have this doll when I was a bit younger. This shirt is really cute. This is in concert techna. Um, and she found this at the thrift store and she's like, Serena, do you like want that? And I was like, um, like if you like, if you like really wanna get it, like you totally can, but like if not, like it's fine. Um, just because they're kind of harder to come by now. Um, and I really wanted a techna head because I really wanted to make um, a Roxy Believix, like my own version of her, because I don't like the the witty like Simba face of Roxy. Um, so yeah, this is like a little Techna. Thank you, Athena. Ah oh, yes. Oh my God, I like. I really like this dress too. I know what dress this is. Oh my God. Yeah, I think she washed her too. Oh yes, dude. I fucking love. Ooh. The underneath of this dress is really cute. Um, I love pink and green. I, I wonder if that's why she chose this dress. Um, so she she found a um like family midge doll. You know the one that's like pregnant. I think that's who this is. And she she offered to send it to me because I really love this doll's face like mold so much. I don't know what it is about her. But isn't she so beautiful? I just love like everything about her face. Oh my God. And she has such nice hair. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <gasps> what? Oh my God. You sent me another midge. What the fuck? Oh my God. I literally for some reason love this like little choppy hair length. Oh my God, Athena. This one is like even prettier. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she sent me a bunch of like ginger dolls. That is so sweet. Look. She sent another one. She has like this cute little like skipper top on. Wow, thank you. What doll is this? <gasps> oh. Oh my god. She sent me that one Sleeping Beauty Barbie that where um her eyes like close like open and close this dress athena bitch this dress is really pretty oh my god yeah they open i want to keep them closed honestly wow how interesting um wow athena bitch you really went overboard you're so sweet and kind and beautiful. I'm so grateful, Athena. All of this is literally so, so much appreciated. And these um, three Barbies are so pretty. Books, the, uh, the Sleeping Beauty book. But thank you so much if you watched this video and 
um, I'll keep you updated with what's going on um, with me if you like. Um, I'm really grateful and really excited about all these things. Um, thanks for watching my little haul video. Um, yeah, I love you all so much.